If you want to know how to get the maximum resolution for the images you create using Playground AI, then I'm going to show you a few basic settings here to make sure that can happen. You'll notice with this image, I'm using Stable Diffusion 2.1 and that the default image resolution is 768 by 768 pixels. I have close up portrait chosen as a filter and I've got the steely gaze of a tired warrior. And now I'm going to generate this image. If I go up the top here, once the image has been generated, to upscale that, I upscale it by four times, which means I get an image of 3072 by 3072 pixels. And if you zoom in, that's a pretty decent resolution. But if you go back and switch to say, Playground version one, or even Stable Diffusion 1.5, you can go a bit higher, up to 1024 by 1024, or if you have the Pro, pro Plan, 1536 pixels, which means you get even higher resolution images. So I'm gonna choose a cinematic filter and generate another image using Playground version one. I'm going to upscale the image. Then we get an image that is 4096 by 4096 pixels. And again, if you zoom in, that resolution is actually really good. If you go pro, an image that is 1536 by 1536 ends up being 6144 by 6144, which is pretty crazy for AI art. Pro is your best bet if you want to hit a maximum resolution. Otherwise, uh, just simply pick the highest resolution you can when setting up your image generations. Now, when you're printing art, you're not really probably going to need to go beyond 6,000 by 6,000 pixels. Maybe you don't want to go pro, however, or maybe you do need to go beyond that resolution. The next thing you can try is something like Topaz Gigapixel to take those images to the next level. Pop your full upscales into Topaz and you can then further resize them by up to six times. And you can see the massive difference in resolution you can get when you start applying that to your already upscaled AI images. So Topaz can take that original 3072 by 3072 image and make it over 18,000 by 18,000 pixels. Now it won't upscale much over say 20,000. So the other sizes actually still end up being not much bigger than that. But that is a massive difference if you're looking to produce some very high resolution imagery. I hope that has given you a bit of an idea on how to maximize the resolution of your AI artwork when using Playground AI. Um, it's a pretty, pretty standard sort of process, but it's good to know if you don't actually realize, and that way you can get some really high resolution images for use in just about anything. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like, and I'll have more videos like this coming out soon. So check out my channel for more. Although I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.